Good afternoon. Uh, so uh, this afternoon, I will um, uh, speak about harnessing uh, GIS BIM and uh, artificial intelligence uh, to create geo-digital twins that are more effective. So uh, please, uh, uh, next, please, uh, the next. Uh, so I, I have with me uh, Galileo Galilei. Uh, so uh, why Galilei uh, is here with us this, uh, this afternoon. So uh, the next one, please. OK. Uh, Galileo uh, has been the, the first in the uh, history of science to point in the, in the sky an optical uh, instrument to analyze phenomena that were very, very far um, from us. Um, we, we will try in these next uh, minutes to understand um, not how the capability to use these tools to understand what is in a perspective of uh, an astronomical kind of uh, view um, has, can be combined with another kind of approach, which is the one of the microscope, the one uh, who gives you the ability to go in details of the phenomena at a very, very low level of detail. Uh, the next one, please. Uh, why this, um, uh, I will say, this um, a kind of uh, a different view, perspective um, together, and we are speaking about this uh, today in Intergeo, uh, because uh, in a certain way, when you are using a GIS kind of uh, device, okay, kind of service, uh, you are using a geographical approach. Um, wh what it means that you are focusing on the part of the city, uh, probably, on the part of the territory. On the other side, there is the BIM. The BIM, I hope that you are familiar with this, is the Building Information Modeling. Wh what is the BIM kind of focus? It should be the, the bolt inside this uh, structure that we can see on the right side. So we need to take these two worlds consistent with software, with more technological tools. So the next one, please. So in a certain way, in, in the similar, uh, uh, I will say, in the analogy of the telescope to understand the scientific world and the astronomical kind of uh, perspective, and the microscope, which, which uh, give us the ability to go in the details of the materia, to understand the secrets of uh, uh, our built world. Uh, the next one, please. We need to build, uh, I will say, a better interface between these uh, two kinds of approach of the two kinds of uh, worlds to have more effective way of uh, processing information and to understand how we are building infrastructure and uh, construction. So for this reason, we create the Techroscope. So a kind of tool that gives you these uh, uh, two ways uh, to uh, take in consistence these two different perspectives. So, so now I will show you our technology, uh, which is Usbeam Geo Twin, uh, which is practically um, a service, a platform that gives you the ability, just using Chrome Navigator system, to put in transparency architecture, structure, to go on the detail of a building, and to have all the details of the IFC model. So this is open beam information. We came from. Uh, a kind of a GIS perspective. So here we have four federations with 16 models. The system can process this information very, uh, I would say, dynamically, and it makes this information accessible to any kind of device because we overcome a lot of technical issues and we provide this uh, solution mainly for open beam kind of information. So in the same way, we have all the details of this uh, building here on the, on the right side of the screen. You can zoom out, and uh, you can see another success case. It is City of Barcelona 2000 IFC model, 120 gigabytes of information. 
So it's a very low level of detail, but it's a very massive uh, quantity of data. You can just access by your Google Chrome. And uh, if you want to localize with the precise uh, longitude, latitude, uh, position, a building, and you want to go on a high level of detail on an object, you have all the details here available. In the same way, you can access to an object for a fire safety uh, kind of uh, analysis. Okay. And here, uh, this is another kind of uh, success case, but it's more a city historical interest and uh, an opportunity to see what it happened with texturized mesh with point clouds. You can federate this information. You select the one you want in scope, and so you can uh, go in details of the IFC model. Look at this example. This is La Città del Vaticano in Roma. This is another example of data of very high definition of point cloud and photogrammetry. So look at the performance of the service. You can zoom to a very, very low level of uh, detail just using Chrome. And in this case, it's the use of BIM to preserve our inheritance in terms of building. So BIM is not only to construct new buildings, but it's to preserve the value as well of uh, uh, assets we have in our historical background. So we have the city of Milan here. The background is provided by Ezrai ArcGIS because this result is um, um, a partnership between our technology, Asbim and Ezri. So in the background, you have the city, the photogrammetry of the city. These buildings here are accessible by our system with uh, shortcuts. You can zoom in the building and look for this massive quantity of data, 50 gigabytes of point clouds, 2.5 billion points, you can access easily just using your Chrome browser. The system provides as well some basic features like uh, a measurement system for uh, distance, for surfaces that you can collect on the right side of the viewer. You can access with the shortcut to a position in the building and use astronomy, uh, um, uh, axonometry cuts of the buildings as well. You can connect a virtual reality kind of headset very easily without adding any kind of software to the system and navigate as well the models. We are looking at the, our headquarters in South Italy. Here we are inside the offices. This is another use case, quite interesting. Putting the transplants to the architecture and the structure, we have the MEP. So here we have a mixed reality kind of device. You just uh, click on a QR code. You access with the mixed reality to what you can see, all the pipes in the building. So you put in transparency all the architecture. You have as well the normal functionalities. And you can uh, localize everything in uh, your offices and the pipes and devices. We come back to this part of uh, Milan, and I will show you how it's easy to update the model. So in this case, I want to update the ground of this building. So I have a tool, which is a federation tool. I will choose a, part, a new part of the building. When I am happy with this new part of the building, I will just consolidate the version and all this information will be shared with my collaborators, with my teams, in the Ezri ArcGIS environment. So we have one source of trust where we share everything, and very easily we can update as well the information. Of course, we can choose the maps we want around the building. And now we will see a very interesting use case about asset management with the shopping mall. In this case, our system is connected with an IBM Maximo kind of facility management. And a visual access lets you understand where is the public part accessible of the shopping mall. You can navigate by different kinds of perspective, by assets, 
by items you are managing in your facility management, maybe by uh, scheduled activities in the next months. And the added value is that you have the synchronization with the items you are finding on the right side of your window here that is synchronized with EBM Maximum or maybe SAP or other facility management. We come back from, uh, uh, to an ESRI ArcGIS kind of uh, perspective and we go in uh, Napoli. It's the central station of Napoli. Uh, to give you an idea of the capability of the system. This is a 56 files federated together. We are navigating inside the railway station. You can easily add uh, pictures, technical documents to the different assets and share with your collaborators this information. A very actual uh, problem we have with civil works, uh, with the reinforced concrete, is that we have to survey and to be uh, sure that they are not dangerous. This is a, um, so a current use case we provide for technical teams that are surveying, uh, where there is surveillance on civil works. And as you can see, we are connecting here specific sensors on the civil br on the bridge, that you can uh, see here the values and you can see the level of colors depending on the level of danger uh, we have on the on the bridge. For different authorities, it's important as well to have different bridge in an area so they can see maybe uh, around the city what is happening with different civil works. Let's see together the level of uh, maturity of the IFC, the open beam kind of information. We are zooming out in this, uh, zooming in, sorry, in this uh, model and out as well. And uh, we can see as well an IFC tunneling, which is a point for uh, a 4.4 kind of schema that we are contributing to push forward in terms of uh, uh, IFC standard, because we contribute as well to this, evolution, to this evolution of the standard. Another use case, a success case, is for uh, um, a big company uh, who uh, is in the backbone distribution of the power, uh, electricity power, or we have other clients using this kind of system for the antenna of uh, telecommunication for LTE, 3G, 4G kind of, uh, inform, uh, kind of um, uh, frequencies. So in this case, we use the specific tools we have as well for the structural analysis. Uh, let's see a very big amount of data as well for uh, railway kind of infrastructure. So we, are the, we have the point clouds here. We are federating this information with the IFC model. So you can see the different objects with all the properties. We can use this model as well for the Gantt kind of uh, a strategical uh, program of works, scheduling of works. So we use the model to build the better situation. And as well, we, ha we have a library of tracks and cranes. There is as well the possibility to have a virtual work through, through these uh, models using different kinds of views. On the left side, you have the model and the point cloud. On the right side, you have the 360 photo. And we are synchronizing the view of the camera. We will come back on this kind of views that maybe is the more interesting in this stage because we are, in this case, giving the information we have in the portfolio uh, in our platform, accessible for Urban Development Authority. But now let's see an advanced use of our uh, collaboration tool. We have four users here. One of the users can also modify directly using Chrome and simulating the position of this wind turbine on the top of this uh, building. The other user can uh, discuss the change we can use the library to make a better simulation with tracks as well. And my colleagues can see the simulation on, on li live. And we can consolidate and version 
all this uh, prototyping uh, we are uh, together sharing today. So we can as well modify directly using Chrome the model from our systems. Now we come back to the integration between BIM and GIS. So we are here in partnership with Esri ArcGIS. We are giving the information to the ArcGIS layer of information. So what is happening? The information that is selected in our portfolio of IFC model becomes accessible to the application in ArcGIS. We can choose a criteria um, to select an area that is a radius of maybe 200 meters. So in this radius, we have windows, heat generators, that we can um, extract and provide directly with all the information inside the Esri ArcGIS application. So going on with the a slightly different uh, example. We are choosing other variables inside, available inside the IFC model. We are taking a rectangle of selection, and we can build a dashboard inside ArcGIS directly. This information is provided dynamically, directly from our ASBIM platform. Of course, we can add all the technical information inside our platform, like this energy assessment. Using the same paradigm, our platform can share information with an artificial intelligence engine. We have an LLM kind of uh, example with ChatGPT. I'm just asking the system, what kind of information you have about the buildings here in this area? And what are the possible space destinations of this space? Sorry for the Italian. <laughs> ChatGPT is speaking with me in Italian, so it's telling me we have bedroom, we had uh, uh, spaces for families, resi residential, and so on. I ask him a, a, a plot of this information, a diagram, and he's giving me a diagram of the use of the space. I'm asking the system to highlight the bathroom inside the building, and the system is highlighting uh, simultaneously inside the visual. And I ask him the largest bathroom, and he will select me the largest bathroom in this uh, building here. So our platform can provide as well uh, the information, the, the right semantic for an artificial intelligence system. This is a sunset on uh, Milano. Uh, to finish the presentation, I just have a few seconds. And uh, uh, to summarize what we have seen together, so we have seen maps used with IFC models, merging with point clouds and other formats. You, and the system for um, uh, increasing the collaboration, the quality of the collaboration. Uh, the next one, please. Uh, next one, yeah. Okay, so we have a, a stand uh, down there. Uh, we will be happy to, if you have questions or you want to see something more. And if I have maybe a little time, if there is the time for some questions.